Welcome back to Old Master's Marriage Day. Today I'd like to describe for you the uses of our new black oil medium now available on our website. As you can see, it gets its name from its color, but if you look at the tip of the palette knife here, you will see that it's really not that dark as it appears through the thickness of the jar. Now, the first way you can use this medium is just as a medium by itself. That is incorporating it into all your paints before you begin your painting and along with your mixtures during the painting. Uh, here's how you would incorporate black oil into a piece of yellow ochre. Now, this medium, it's comprised of cold-pressed linseed oil and litharge. Uh, it was developed by Giorgione in the High Italian Renaissance, and it has a few important qualities. Number one, it is slightly thicker and more viscous than a regular linseed oil or even a walnut oil, uh, which, as Merger quotes, uh, it gives the painting a feeling that is both stiff and fluent to the brush. So it uh, adds versatility to your paint. Uh, now it dries overnight to the touch, thanks to the litharge, which means that uh, you know you can work back in the second day, it'll already be dry, and also a couple of hours into the painting process, it'll start to set up and develop that all-important tug, that subtle tug that artists always desire so they can do more mellifluous brush strokes. Uh, black oil is also ideal as a glazing medium because it's a liquid oil, so if you're into that, uh, I'd really go with black oil just like they did in the Renaissance. Now, aside from using black oil just on its own, it's also great to use in combination with our other mediums since black oil is a major component of both. The first one you see here is Italian wax medium. Now, as the Renaissance went by, the Italians started adding more and more beeswax to their black oil to develop a thicker medium so they could have more body to their paint, thicker highlights. They called it impasto. But, you know, that took a century to get all the way from the liquid black oil all the way up to the thickest Italian wax medium. So if for any reason you require a slightly thinner Italian wax medium, what you would want to do is add some drops of black oil to that medium to thin it down. So here we'll add just a little bit of black oil to the Italian wax medium and mix it in. And you'll see that that'll give the medium a much thinner quality, but it'll still retain the drying qualities of the Italian wax medium, and it will also have that mellifluous waxy quality, just not to the same extent. You're not going to get the same kind of impasto, but perhaps a more fluid brush stroke, and some people prefer that. Now, aside from just the Italian wax medium, you can also use black oil in combination with Flemish Merger, which is this one over here. Now, Flemish Merger is also made with black oil. It's just that instead of beeswax, it has mastic varnish in it, and that's why you get this translucent jelly, which is so appealing. But in the same way, if you require a thinner Merger or want to do more glazing in a painting that you are using Merger in, no problem, just add a couple of drops to your Merger and mix it up together and you will get a thinner Merge medium with all the thixotropic qualities that you've come to know in Merge and the same drying time as Merge and black oil but it will be thinner and more ideal for thin passages and glazing.